So the EFL is one of the best sets of leagues in the world, but it also contains some strange news stories, and today the focus is on the craziness at Crawley Town. Hello and welcome back to Final Whistle. My name is Harry McBain and today I'm going to be giving you a brief overview of what's been going on at Crawley Town over the past few weeks because it's fair to say it's been a bit nuts. So if we turn back time a bit, we're going back towards April. The League 2 side were taken over by a group known as Wagme United LLC and this was a group led by Preston Johnson and Eben Smith. The co-owners took a unique approach to club ownership. They implemented an NFT ownership model, which is very unique and has not really been done before in the EFL, with fans being able to buy tokens and make decisions on the club. However, it's fair to say they haven't really had the most stable start to the club. So in November, the Surrey based club hired former Tottenham player Matthew Etherington as manager. However, he lasted about three games. Well, not about, he lasted three games. It was a win and two losses. The club announced that Etherington and his assistant manager had both parted ways with the club, with the official statement reading, It has become clear to all involved parties that this partnership is not the right fit to carry the club forward and achieve our goals. And if you look at that and you kind of really dissect it, it's just saying there's been a disagreement between the the management and the owners, or the chairmen, and we can't work with them anymore, so they've gone. Which which is fairly... Which is fairly... uh, well, I think it's more common these days. It's more, more, much more common as owners trying to take more control. Now, if you look at the news around Crawley at the time, it's a bit more understandable. The news came a day after the club announced the sale of striker Tom Nichols to league rivals Gillingham. This is a move that shocked many, many Crawley fans and neutrals as well. And it especially shocked club striker Quezzi Apaya, who tweeted, Wait what? With a few emojis. Surely been hacked in the response to the club's official statement announcing his teammate's departure. So, obviously, this was a move that no one saw coming, and moving forward from that, many Crawley fans would have been expecting a bit more stability, maybe some investment coming in to cover it. However, the next announcement that came out was that for the upcoming fixture against Stevenage, that coach Darren Byfield would take charge of the team. Understandable, first team coach, kind of interim duties. However, he would not be alone with co-owner Preston Johnson joining him in the dugouts as he and I quote, took on a more direct and hands-on role. This is extremely uncommon. Normally we see a few owners coming and meddling with, you know, selection or other other small details with the club, but never really have we seen any owner go and move into the dugouts to uh, assist with management. It's a bit uncommon. And, um, well, Crawley lost the game 3-1, so kind of dissect from that what you will. Um, the club supporters trust called for an official meeting with the club. However, uh, Preston Johnson was unable to meet with them at the time due to some sensitive legal issues at the club, with the owner saying that he will sit down with them at the earliest opportunity in a statement released by the supporters trust. Now, it's fair to say Crawley fans will be begging for stability and normality at their club as they look to push up the league and away from the bottom four relegation spots in League Two. So let's see what the new year brings for them. And on that note, if you are new around here, then please subscribe and drop a like. It would mean a lot for us uh, to see your support for the channel and it would really keep us going. So happy new year. Thank you for watching.